Want to master anime character design for free? This course is your first step on the journey to anime character design art learning pathway. Brush Camp offers tons of similar courses in illustration, 2D, 3D design. Level up your creativity with free knowledge and courses. Visit brushcamp.com today and explore endless possibilities. In a painting, the line is very important because it conveys the best content to the viewer. And whether the painting conveys emotions, is it soft or not? Much will depend on your drawing. So our drawing must be fast, beautiful, and soft. How to have such a nice linear art? Now I will show you. Let's learn how to draw linear art fast and beautiful first. So why do we have to learn to draw linear art first? Because when we have a good line. At that time, the act of sketching or rendering and drawing a picture, an object. It's much easier than when we do it from a to Z. And then we are confused about how to make it beautiful. We have to use long strokes without using short ones. Let me give you an example. Now you want to draw a curve. Please don't draw like this. I see a lot of you draw like this. This is the wrong way. We should use lines like this. Please practice using long light strokes and draw quickly because it has a certain softness and consistency with each other if you keep drawing lines like this the line will be clumped together and points like this will be stiff and inconsistent this is the brush that i feel is the easiest to draw so i'm going to switch to a stiffer brush so that you can see the difference this is how you draw long lines If you were to use short lines together, it would take longer and there would be rough lines like this. I still highly recommend you to use thin and fast lines like this to train our hand muscles to draw everything really fast. Not only that, the fact that you draw both fast and long lines like this will help you quickly sketch something. For example, now I see a tree instead of having to draw each line like this. The thing you draw, using long and continuous lines like this. It's going to be a lot faster. Or for example, draw a face. Now I will use to draw long strokes for you to see. It will be different from where you have to sit and trim like this. And it's pretty dirty too. About sketch, I still recommend using longer lines, thinner and faster long strokes. You will be afraid that if you only use one line and stretch it out, creating such a curve, it will not be accurate. This is the time when you will use the Ctrl Z combination to draw. For example, now I will draw a hair. And if you don't like it, you can Ctrl Z and redraw continuously. This is a very quick style, so you can handle the situation on the spot. Instead of you deciding to delete this is very cumbersome. You can Ctrl Z everything again. Redraw and practice. With a redraw you will repeat using a stroke like this. Of course, I do not recommend Ctrl Z continuously, because it will make your painting time become longer. Now what are we going to linear with? It has some characteristics. If you don't know, there is also a certain density in linear. And it creates a very clear front and back, dark and light. It also helps to give your paintings more depth. How do we get a nice linear? At first, we'll go into the dark and light. What is the dark and light like? Now we will classify by level. The degree of severity, either we can understand the distance near or overlap. It will be darker than the rest of the strokes. For example, objects that overlap. 
Next is the proximity or overlap. At this heavy level, for example when I draw a circle, with the part where it hits the ground heavily, I'm going to darken it. In places where your linear is thin like this, you can still use short lines to be able to draw again, overlay style. It makes your lines more beautiful. About the level of proximity, for example, now I have two objects. About the closer objects, its linear is darker than these more distant objects. The objects in front of you can make the linear darker. This is like applying the law of near and far. That is, the closer an object is, the clearer it is, and the farther away the object, the more blurred it is. Next we come to the importance. What is the importance? For example, in a picture like this, it has a lot of things. For example, I draw a vase and the flowers here. The main character is the flowers. You can completely draw those flowers. To stand out and lie on top of the vase. Next is the angle. What is the angle? For example, lines in this corner will tend to be bold. Because it's in the corner, they are the darkest part. Because it doesn't receive light. So at the angles, for example here. For example, I draw a hair. So you can see this angle. This is the angle you can't see the light. You will draw it in bold color. You will see that there is an overlap. Continuing here will make that angle disappear. I'm going to darken the border here, it'll look much prettier. Next we will come to the block stroke. What is it? For example, now I have a vase of flowers. The light will come here. This is the surrounding lines, right? Block strokes are lines that are more blurred. And it's surrounded by other lines. These are short lines, so you can express the intensity of the object you like. This is mainly used in the picture. That to use linear you will see a lot. Or like this. The block description will be lighter than the outer linear. This is the basics of linear. even if you apply it to what you just drew. This is me drawing a piece of masking tape on a piece of paper. Will it know where to be bolder? These are angles, or shadows. This will be the weight. The importance and the angle. Like that. Of course, what I draw here is for illustrative purposes only. I hope you can roughly understand what I'm saying. Now we will review the tool a bit. After we are done with this part, you want to zoom out it so we can move it to other part. Then we will select the area like this and we'll drill T. Zoom out and drag it over. And click OK. Then Ctrl D to be able to cancel the selection. So we can move on to the new post, right? We already have red and black. Now we will continue to choose blue to create the boundary. And this is the boundary. 
after we have the properties and ways to recognize it. We can draw a bold or light linear as we like. Of course, it has to be effective. But it's not always dark and light. If you use it in wrong way, it will result. In making your picture look very weird, for example. For example, instead of you use the bold front object that you paint behind this circle. Or for example, dark and light places that don't have any rules look very funny. So we have to use it at the right time. These are the rules. Please remember, for a nice linear art, don't forget what they call pen selection. Now I will choose the basic brushes that I often use. And it's certainly not only in Metabang, but it's available in all other drawing software as well. Then first, we will have a stiff brush like this. This is its setting, you can click on the cog to see it. You can even make adjustments. For example, if you click here, it will have a certain transparency. You can turn it off. The line of this will, and it doesn't have such a thing as transparency and blending. And in this first part it will adjust. This one, the drawing part will have no emphasis. It will be one size straight from beginning to end. You tick here, it will have more emphasis. For example, if you light the pen, it will be small. If you weigh the pen, it will be large. This is the basic brush. It's the same brush but I'm going to adjust it to have a blend, which is a fade and a certain transparency. For myself, I feel using this brush will make the lines softer. Next is the brush that I often use to sketch. It's just like a normal pencil stroke. And on the side of this table there are many types of brushes that are suitable for you. And for example this brush, I will shrink it. Or oil paint. I will try to draw these brushes so you can see the difference. Normally I would recommend this brush of mine. Because it's really easy to draw. Then will come this brush. And this brush will be the brush I use to sketch. The other two are texture brushes, I only use them in some special cases. Now I will try linear art for you to see. For example, now I will sketch a flower. I quite like flowers. I will use this brush first. Let me draw quickly for you to see. Have you seen the difference yet? And I'll use the next brush. This is the brush I use the most. It's dark or light depending on how strong your hand is. The darker you press the pen, the darker it is. Even in this brush, you can overwrite the corners again to create a sense of depth or one on top of the other, you already know. I will try to study for you right now. There you will see the difference. I can use this brush for you guys to check it out. It is quite difficult to use. This brush we often use to color more because it is a texture brush. So there are brushes that are right for you.
please try to draw many different brushes in the tool palette. I only use the basic tools that are available. I will not use any tools that are too sophisticated. There are some really cool tools in Metabang. For example, it will draw you the style. This is Edge Pen. You can draw and see that it has a border. Then you will adjust the inner color and the color of the border. For example, I changed it to red, and the inside is this blue. You will see some brushes that have very interesting properties. So I think if you have time, try this brush out. To understand more about the properties, as well as try to see which brush suits you best. Because choosing the right brush for your style is very important. It will contribute to your style development, as it makes you draw faster and better. And of course, for those of you who are new to Wacom for the first time, drawing straight lines like this is really difficult. I went through the same time as you. I didn't know where to practice drawing lines, because it's hard to hold a Wacom. I often practice drawing and drawing curves. Practice drawing straight lines. Circle drawing. So that our hands can become more familiar. We will get used to this Wacom more. Please try to draw like me. You will draw squares one by one like this. Give it a try. This one is actually good, even for whom draw it by hand. Do things like this to make your hands better. The fact that drawing a line is so fast, and long and neat like this, is very good in the process of you sketching an idea. And now we will review the tool palette one more time. That is, we will zone. And we will delete it. Okay. So we're done. How to get a nice linear art. When you already have nice linear art, or? It could be easier for us to say. You've got a really soft and beautiful brush stroke. And you're ready to start a new journey. We will start moving on to another more important part. That is, how to draw faces in anime. Please like and subscribe to our channel.